All right, so uh, I am back at Lost Creek. The weather is glorious. We're looking to go uh, three days, two nights. It is Friday about one o'clock. A little apprehensive, very excited. We got to do about uh, eight miles to what it looks like is a water source up on top of the hill and it's about 2,000 foot gain and that's a lot eight miles uphill is a lot but um, I can do it getting a little late start for that kind of mileage but play it by ear like we always do that's the fun Feels good. This is always such a great feeling, the first steps of the journey. And the weather is just glorious. So there's the trail where we went up with Timber. And uh, we'll be coming back down there on Sunday. So far the trail has been good, you know, it's all uphill. But uh, it'll level out for a little ways and then start going back uphill. So that's nice. <clears throat> I'm only eight tenths of a mile in though. It always seems like those first couple miles are the hardest for me. It's gotta get going and kick your body into gear. At least mine anyway. Couple blowdowns so far. Not bad. Well, we're a mile and a half in now. <clears throat> Seeing a bit of bear sign. So I'm gonna have to be cognizant of that. But we'll take precautions. I didn't bring my gun. It's just so dang heavy. The Rocky Mountains. There's still some snow up there in the high country. We're going higher. Maybe on the north slopes we might find some snow. Woo! Woo! The bears didn't know I was here before. They know now. They're on notice. So we're about uh, two miles in now. And we're up on a ridge top here. Oh boy, this is spectacular. All right, back on the trail. Just did a little map check. We're at about 3,400 feet. And uh, top which I estimate to be about five miles in is uh, 49 which leaves us what 1500 huh so still a long ways to climb I just spooked something big he just jumped down over the ridge there I'm definitely rationing my water uh, things are green up here, but I haven't seen any sign of water, so uh, And actually I didn't expect to uh, But I'm rationing it We should be coming up on the junction with trail uh, 153 here within a half mile three quarters of a mile My uh, muscles are starting to cramp just right above my knees um, That little rest right there helped me out. So I think if I get up here and just kind of sit back for 10 minutes or so, 
probably be good to go. I'm getting a little worried about water. It's about four o'clock. We're just coming out into a meadow. I think the junction with trail 153 is going to be at the top of this hill. I can see that some kind of trail crew has come through here before. It was cleared probably a few times. I'm mighty thankful if any of you guys who did that ever see this video. Thank you much. And all the guys who do that on other trails. Very thankful for that. This hill has been a bear. Ooh, it just keeps going. We haven't hit the junction with uh, 513 or 135 yet. Uh, I'm gonna break there for a while. My uh, my knees quit cramping for a while, but now they're cramping again. Got a little headache. Overall, my energy feels good. I just need a need a blow. Need to sit down for a minute. But we should uh, we should be about there. On the map, it looked like it came at the top of this hill when we hit the tree cover, and I am just walking back into the tree cover now. So hopefully, it's right here. So I haven't made it to the junction yet. My leg just started cramping real bad, and I tried to push through to make it up there, but I just had to stop and let it rest it's feeling okay now so we might throw this on and go up there and uh, I got to break my camel back out and see how much water I got I can actually bug out on uh, trail 153 it'll take me uh, down to the road where the trucks at just about a mile or so uh, north of it <laughs> That would be a bummer. I've never had my legs cramp like this. Um, maybe I'm rationing too much. Just coming up that really, I maybe it's cause the sun was directly on me and I don't know. I don't know what it was, but <clears throat> I was not feeling good by the top. So we'll carry on. So this is literally like a hundred yards up from where I was just resting, the junction. All right, well, so I've uh, pulled my camel back out, checked out how much water I have. It's about what I thought, it's about half, which probably gives me a liter and a half, which isn't bad. Um, I drank a lot of water. never really uh, been in this kind of situation. I knew it was going to be tight. But I guess that's, you know, that's part of it. You got to be able to improvise. And uh, the short way to water is this trail, 153. So I can use that as a backup plan. Go home that way, three miles it says. Well, I'm on my way to find water. I, I think I'm at the high point here. This ridge line's kind of flat right now, so that's a welcome change. Might be pushing the light to make three miles for dark. Look at this. This is not the water I'm looking for.
I think I might dig some out, throw it in my bottles. Well, it's not much. That's not going to amount to much water, but it's some. I got some for sure, and uh, it gives me a lot of hope that this stream I'm booking for is going to be there. I've been booking it down here. We'll probably come a mile and a half, uh, maybe close to two. Well, probably over two now. So it was almost three to get here, or to get to the water spot. <clears throat> This reminds me of being on the ridge in the Salmo Priest when we were on the way to uh, the lookout tower. I can't remember what it was called. A little snowy top? Could be. About seven o'clock now. Running into more snow on the trail. This one's deep. That's it. Look at that glorious sight. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! I filled my water bottle, both water bottles, and my camel back. But to be honest, I did not filter them. I'm rolling the dice on this one. I'm rolling the dice. Look at that water comes all the way down that waterfall. I'm pressed for time or else I would have. Right now I gotta go find a campsite. I am racing the light right now. Might have 30 minutes. we can make it before that thing goes behind the mountain. Here's our trail. Well, <clears throat> I'm not going to make it before the sun goes down. It is on the other side of those hills. Made it. Right after I said I wasn't gonna make it, I made it. <laughs> but now it's time to uh, let's set up a camp here. Well, got my hammock set up. I am beat. That hike really kicked my ass. Nine miles, so the sign says. I think the GPS says just under that. About nine o'clock. Got my little cooking fire here on the road. Can't find any better place. That trail was pretty epic. And uh, it was a pretty epic day. I'm too tired to pretty much do anything. <laughs> So I've cooked my last German sausage here. I still gotta, I gotta hang my food somewhere. I think I'm gonna put them in those trees. Those, at least, if something gets in, tries to get to it, I should hear them. All right, well, we're in the hammock. Pretty much situated for the night. So it was a good day. 
the trail was really good. I didn't like that last part, but other than that, pretty phenomenal. So hopefully this road walk isn't too bad and we'll start uh, going uphill in the morning. First thing, I guess if it's chilly, that's a great way to do it. Let's just march uphill. All right, well, I'm going to bed. <clears throat> good morning. Had a really good night last night. Fell right asleep. Woke up once about one. A little worried I wasn't going to get back to sleep, but that wasn't a problem. Right now it's uh, almost 5.30. And uh, trying to motivate myself to get out of my bag. Pretty cozy. Want to brush my teeth, want to get some coffee going. Have a little bacon and then uh, start walking. It's a little chilly this morning. I don't know what the temperature is, but outside of this sleeping bag, it's pretty cold. But inside the sleeping bag, it's nice. But we're going to get some uh, coffee going. And then pack up and hit the trail. It's going to be another great day of hiking. And I'm just excited to be here. It's about seven now. Not in any rush. Coffee's ready. comes here she comes almost eight o'clock now so I need to uh, get packed up and uh, let's get out of here It's about 8.30, we're packed up, uphill to start. I'm about to go through a snow field here. Look here, it's early in the morning. Hopefully it's still kind of frozen. I don't know. Yeah, it is. So the road is just going up, up, up. Gradual climb. I don't know if you can see the cut in the hill over there, but I can tell that the road just keeps going up at about the same pace. So, we'll just go. It's good, I, have, I just have my head in a place where <laughs> I know <laughs> We gotta climb, so whatever. It is what it is, the trail is the trail. Just gotta hike it. Sure pretty up here.
I think once I reach the top of whatever this hill is I'm on, I'm probably going to take a break, sit down, maybe have something to eat, chill a while. Good hike. Hope you guys can hear me. We've made it to the border. We're probably right now in Montana. This is all big sky country. Got a lake down there. So right down here is another trail I want to do that comes right up through here. Uh, the Trout Creek Trail. And I don't actually see it, but I know it comes right through. View. A lot of snow up here. This wind is cold. So just sitting up here uh, on the border here, Montana border. So, uh, it's a little after 10. So I think uh, we're going to chill out right here for a good while. Heck, and why not? This is what I'm looking at. There's the road we walked up on. Got our stove going. Gonna make up some soup while we're sitting here. Not really lunch, I'll probably stop again for lunch, but uh, that's the benefit of leisurely hiking through the mountains. All right, got some of my uh, cheddar broccoli soup here. My own dehydrated concoction. I'm gonna enjoy this soup though, and then uh, we'll probably pack up and head out of here. I think I've probably been here for an hour at least, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, I'm in no rush. This country is spectacular. soup, had some whiskey. This ridge is just amazing. It's gradual downhill. Very easy walking for me, and <clears throat> we're just on the side of this hill, and the scenery is just off the hook. So we made it to the junction here. The trail behind me will take you down to the uh, Settlers Groves, Cedars. They might call it Ancient Cedars, Settlers Grove for sure. So someday we might come back down this trail or hike up this trail and then hike up this way and come down the 502 like I came up. There's a few different options for hiking. 
right, well, <clears throat> walking out of the junction, a little past one. If I get on it just right, you can still say it says 270. That's been laying like that for a while. Great day to be on the trail. So I've been sitting here for a few minutes. Uh, this is the uh, 598 trail. And right down below me uh, is the 526, um, which I wasn't sure came all the way up to the road, but it does. So, so I'm wondering if there's a creek down there I can get some water from. Boy, I made serious good time down here. Just threw on my headphones and it was all downhill slash level. Um, it's a little after two right now. So there's no obvious water here. Um, I think I'm gonna walk down uh, the 526 trail a little bit into this draw and see if I see water. We're gonna hike down, see if we can find some water here. Beautiful. So it's three o'clock. Just sitting down here by the creek, filtering a liter of water. I'm going to drink this liter, and then I'm going to fill up straight from the creek. Um, I can always filter this water later. Back up at my pack now. Just uh, up a little bit on trail 598. I'm cameled up. I drank a liter of water down at the creek. And then I brought back two liters more, so that gives me two liters in the bottle. And I think I have two, two and a half liters in my camelback. So if I got to stay up on top tonight and it's dry, we should be good to go. <clears throat> no worries. It's uh, about 20 after 3. I think I'm going to sit here a minute and uh, then we'll pack up and we'll start up this hill. I'm hoping that because this is so well worn that there is a camp up here. If so, that's where we're staying. All right, so this is gonna be camp. So somebody left us some wood. Thank you kindly. We're going to use it. Got a pit. Two pits for whatever fucking reason. And I think I'm going to set my hammock up between those two trees. Somebody's already cleared it, so this is not the first time for a hammock camper up here. Pretty nice. I'm going to get some more wood and uh, we're going to settle in. I have to say that this is one of my pet peeves. The fire pit is not your goddamn garbage can. Pack out your shit. It's almost eight. It's a good campsite. I'm not sure uh, I would have found a better one. I could have went down to where Timber and I stayed, but I didn't want to. I wanted to camp up on this hill 
I got five miles out tomorrow, so the sign says. And uh, I kind of wanted that. I wanted a decent hike out on Sunday, so five miles uh, will be it. It's nice sitting by the fire, a little cowboy TV. So that's going to be it. Let this bad boy die down and uh, get some shut eye, get an early start, hopefully. All right, well, I'm just having my nightcap, letting the fire burn down. morning so that was a good night I just closed my eyes and this <laughs> next time I open them it's morning so sleeping hard but it's about uh, five o'clock so I need to drag myself out of bed here and uh, let's pack up quick hit the trail Sun's coming up. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. Another beautiful day without a cloud in the sky. Okay, it's almost six o'clock. We're out of here. Five miles, it says. It also says road 448, which I believe is wrong. This would be road 442 we're going to. Still up on the ridge, starting to get a view. That's the hill we were up on, on Friday. So that last section of trail was steep. I do not know if I'd want to do this uh, going up. On a little overlook here. There's the hill we went up yes or Friday. Way down in here is Lost Creek, or the East Fork. So I probably still have another thousand feet to go down. I'm about a mile and a half in from camp. Pretty easy walking except for the blowdowns, make it a little hard. I'm not liking this trail very much. Lots of blowdowns, steep. Definitely would not want to come up this way. We're at another stream here. But the troubling part is 
that came down from there and the trail pretty much disappeared. I don't know where it is. I maybe see something over here. I don't know. Not good. All right, found the trail again. My mistake. Missed the switch back. We're getting close to the bottom. I think I can hear lost the east fork down there. Slow going. Still good though, it's still good to be out in the mountains. We were up on that on Friday. No wonder I was dead. I think I'm almost down to the creek. I think I can see water running through there. The trail has been kicking my ass. These steep downgrades are just hard on me. Not huffing and puffing, but wears me out. And I gotta be extra careful that I don't slip and twist an ankle, break a leg, or you know, I can't, I cannot get hurt right now. Well, no sooner do I say I can't hurt myself out here that I walk a little further down the trail a rock rolls under my feet and down I go. Bashed up my, uh, God, I guess it's my broken arm. Bashed up my fore, forearm a little bit. Well, that's good, now I know my arm can take a hit. I am willing to bet this is the East Fork. So that means I am down off the steep. Damn near finished it on my back, but hey, made it. Hiking for a couple hours now. <clears throat> the trail has been much better since I got on the, what I'll call the flat. I just climbed up away from the creek. We are climbing. I'm liking this section of the trail a lot more. I definitely feel like I've gone over the worst of the trail now. I'm down on the floor in the drainage. Made it down to the spot where Timber and I came. Now I gotta figure out how I can get on one of these logs. Might be able to scamper over this. Might have to. Made it over. Not too bad. I was able to just pull myself up there. Just saw a bear. 
went up that hill. I just saw a bear scout in the trail. Must have been that guy. Friday I had two encounters where I didn't get to see the animal and this time I just caught him. Bear. Had to be a black bear, but it kind of looked cinnamon. Yo, bear! Here's where Timber and I camped. I just saw that bear literally around the corner from here, so. So I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> we just keep moving. It's kind of interesting, the bear sat up on that hill and stared me down. He eventually ran off, I think. Hopefully he's not backtracking me. Be bad for him. Probably bad for me too. About uh, four miles in for the day. 19 for the trip. Ooh, rest in here a second. It's been uh, going pretty fast trying to put some put some distance between me and that bear. Pretty cool. Hell of a way to cap off this trip. I know we're close. I believe uh, that was near the beginning, I think. So I just crossed the creek and I can see the truck. It's gonna do it for this one. Uh, about 20 and a half miles, I think, total. We survived another one. Hell of a trip. Why we do it the adventures I definitely had an adventure but gonna head for the ranch now thanks for coming along with me